I, I've come to realize recently that I am a relationship guy. When I look back, I've dated people for you know a year, two years at a time. There's something there's something comforting about being in a relationship, and to tell you the truth, I, I kind of miss it. Tonight, I'm, I'm meeting Bethany. Yeah, she's a girl that I met on J Date, and this is actually going to be our third date. You look great. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. When I first looked at his profile, I definitely thought he was attractive. His pictures, you know, were hot. He, he was good looking. However, I thought it was a little sketchy. I don't know if it was too honest or just too blatant, but he seemed a little cocky. I live my life the way I want to live my life. And I'm just looking for somebody that gets it. So I figured I'd, uh, I'd reach out to her and give her a try. At the time, I was like, you know what? I've been enough kind of mediocre dates. So I was like, you know what? This guy seems pretty cool. And yes, he's different, but maybe it's what I need. Thank you. Uh, I know you don't like any seafood. I plead the fifth on that one. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll, we'll stay away from I refuse all to confirm that. yummy seafood. I'm very flexible. Like... Don't listen to him. We chatted a little bit about family, which is nice, you know, learning a little bit about uh, you know, how each other grew up and what our families are like. You don't sound like a New Yorker either. Well, I grew up in so I think that tends to be I, I think I'm re I really only hear the New York accent on people when I listen to the news. And when I listen to the news and they're interviewing oh, interview somebody, yes. I'm like, oh my god, yes. like that's what we sound like. Talked a little bit about politics, which I try not to discuss on dates. So, I have a friend that looks like Sarah Palin. Like really looks like she's Sarah Palin. She's not Tina Fey. I definitely felt something when I saw Jay for the first time. I was like, okay, he's my type. He definitely seems cool, and um, he came off much sweeter in person than he did in his profile. I definitely consider myself a gentleman. Did you see the Miss Teen USA? I did, but I heard. Where that girl was told. You didn't see it at all. Wait, which one? Where last year, where they asked oh, the girl? Oh, that wasn't Teen. That talking. was Miss. That was Miss USA. No, I think that was Miss Teen USA. We'll Google it. Do you want to fight? We'll Google it later. Regardless. But what happens if I'm right? Oh, a wager. No, no, not necessarily, not necessarily saying a wager. But like, if I'm right, you're going to look really dumb. I think you're more concerned that you're going to look dumb. I don't think I'm wrong. You know, I wasn't really sure how he felt about the date. I really, he, he definitely plays his cards close to his chest. I really, I can't read him at all, which I also, in my own sick way, probably found intriguing. I would, I would consider going out with her again. I think maybe uh, she and I could have a conversation and kind of figure out where we're at, and uh, maybe we can make that decision together if we go out again. He's very hard to read. I have no idea what he thinks about me, but I think we definitely have a good rapport, and we have fun together, and um, I'd be interested to see where it goes. I definitely think that romanticism and idealism and possibilities are all available. I think that people are, su are surprised a lot of the time because I may look a little bit innocent. The chemistry is really good with date. I think we have a lot of the same interests. I knew that I was going to marry Jason one day. I knew it.